PowerPoint presentation is very important topic that each and every individual, each and every professional should learn how to do the PowerPoint presentation, which is going to be very, very effective. And why engineers should learn PowerPoint presentation? Because most of the times the people feel that we have to work on field. Then why should you learn PowerPoint presentation? You are not going to train someone. You are not going to teach something to someone. Then why we should learn PowerPoint presentation? So all these questions will be answered. Besides that, how to make your PowerPoint presentation very effective every tip will be shared with you guys besides that what type of questions will be asked in coming examination of board 2023 winter I will be talking about but the, all the answers will be discussed throughout this video so I request you all to listen to this video very carefully PowerPoint presentation means you know MS Word MS Excel and PowerPoint is there so you open it and you make your slides based on your pre presentations but make sure that before we go with the powerpoint presentation we should understand that making slides is not just completing the formality don't complete just a formality because you have been asked to do the presentation or to, pre to prepare presentation slides are prepared only when your words are not that effective to make the concept or the process that you want audience to understand if your words are insufficient or they are not effective to make your audience understand what your point of view is in that case you have to use slide and slide may contain anything it may be a graph it may be a chart it may be a picture it may be a small video it may be any symbol it may be any cartoon based on your audience based on the information that you want to pass and based <clears throat> on the topic that you have selected you can select any type of slide remember preparing slides or preparing powerpoint presentation is not limited to just put the text in slide format and just read it for the audience no majority of the time you or we all do this mistake whatever text is there whatever information is there we just simply put that information in slide format and we just go on explaining or reading from the slide in front of the audience that is not presentation that is not at all powerpoint presentation we are simply making it as a reading session which is not going to be effective and nobody is going to like it you cannot retain the audience or uh, attention only by just reading from the slides so what how to make this powerpoint presentation very effective before that you engineers or you professionals why you should learn this powerpoint presentation that is the core and the heart of this discussion so here are some tips there are some reasons why you should learn powerpoint presentation to make others understand complicated concept processes machine tools equipments or whatever you want to explain see there are some things with the help of only just words or the text or the book or the brochure you may not be able to make audience understand in that case you should know how to present it so you present that complicated or difficult new concept new technology new process new machine that has been invented or installed in your workshop or in your company or organization you should take the help of powerpoint presentation you can virtually virtually give the tour of new machinery new technology new process with the help of presentation because that much advanced powerpoint presentation has become thanks to ai thanks to the technology thanks to our engineers computer and it engineers so they have developed such slides presentations the animations uh, the uh, different formats of slides the different types of slides that we can use all these things enable every individual to clear or to make the audience understand any complicated concept it may be of engineering it may be of medical or it may be of any type maybe in educational purpose maybe during your training sessions whenever you go for the training sessions if you are invited as a guest as an expert in that particular area so you should be able to make audience understand what exactly you want to say and in order to make it very effective slides or the powerpoint presentation is going to help you so you should learn how to do this 
second thing to present proposals and plans there are so many concepts there are so many plans there are there are different proposals in your mind and you want others to understand you want others or the audience the investors the stakeholders to understand what is your proposal what is your plan and how the stakeholders will be benefiting how the society will be benefiting out of it so you should be able to before that particular things takes its concrete form you should convince the stakeholders the investors that how this particular project or the proposal will be benefiting them economically and benefiting the environment benefiting the stakeholders so you have to present it first of all in front of all of them and if you know how to make it presentable with the help of powerpoint or the slides then definitely you have the chance to get that proposal sanctions or to get that plan executed next one is to pass information to customers consumers and other stakeholders in limited space within limited time see because of this technology you can record any information so if you are recording your presentation what am i doing right now whatever points i want all the students and the professionals to understand i am making one powerpoint presentation and i am recording it so once i record it it will be permanently uploaded on youtube and it will be available to all over the globe so within one click person can get it downloaded and can understand what exactly the topic of discussion is so similarly if you are an expert in a particular area and if you have developed something new it may be a new instrument it may be new equipment tool machine that information should reach to the customers and the consumers within less time because you know how fast the technology is evolving so powerpoint presentation will help you out to reach your customer consumer in any corner of the world but the only condition is that you should know how to do the powerpoint presentation within limited time it will be available one click and the video gets viral within no time millions of views are available and the people get the information disseminated or passed so you should know you should learn how to do powerpoint presentation next one is to show your knowledge skills and imagination so doesn't matter you are limited to a small unit of any organization but if you have a unique knowledge if you have developed something new it may be a new startup that you have started you want that startup or that particular program to reach every corner and the nook of world you can take the help of powerpoint presentation make a powerpoint presentation get it recorded and just pass it through mass media and see within one night you will be a hero of all over the globe so choice is yours if you have good knowledge you can showcase it through your powerpoint presentation whatever skills you have whatever your imagination see there are so many problems that the uh, whole world is facing the first problem is population second one is pollution and everybody is getting affected because of that and the people are just going towards the doomsday so in order to make others understand your imagination or the solution that you have about the existing problems if you simply make the presentation of those problems you can definitely reach to the people who are ready or who are in the position to take the decision and if your solution gets absorbed or accepted by the system definitely you will reap the benefits not only the name fame but money also so if you have knowledge showcase it in your uh, company also in your organization also whatever special knowledge you have with the help of presentation you can tell others if you have special skills you can tell others and if you have a particular imagination about how to execute certain things how to uh, give a solution to a existing problem of your organization anything that is there in your imagination with the help of powerpoint presentation you can present and get it sanctioned and approved and by this the people will definitely recognize you now how to make very effective powerpoint presentation pehli tip when words are less effective or not effective in that case only you have to make the slides स्लाइड्स बनाना मतलब जस्ट फॉर्मेलिटी कंप्लीट करना नहीं जब आपको लगता है कि शब्दों से एक हद टर्म एक हद कॉन्सेप्ट और आपका जो भी थॉट है या प्रपोजल है वो पूरा लोगों के पास नहीं पहुंचेगा तब ही आपने स्लाइड्स बनानी है या पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन करना है अदरवाइज जस्ट टेक्स्ट को उठाया और स्लाइड्स में डाल दिया वो आपका पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन नहीं होता याद रखो नो इज नो इज इम्प्रेस बाय सच प्रजेंटेशन but if you feel that your your words are less effective or ineffective 
use PowerPoint presentation. Or if you feel that the slides would be more effective, sometimes your words complemented by slides or your PowerPoint presentation, they can create the impact exactly what you want to create. So in that case, also you have to make the slides or the PowerPoint presentation. So this is the underlying rule before you jump to do any kind of presentation make sure that whatever slides i will be selecting about this particular concept the words are insufficient or i cannot be or i i won't be able to make audience understand the concept with the help of my words in that case only you have to prepare the slides and when you feel that the slide as well as words this combination would be a deadly combination to create the exact impression in front of your audience in that case only you have to prepare slides or powerpoint presentation otherwise a big no so tips number one first slide should be should have title of the topic your name designation if any with a relevant picture so you can have your own picture your designation manager assistant manager finance manager whatever your designation executive engineer engineer senior engineer junior engineer trainee engineer just intern whatever your designation is there first slide you should have proper title in bold type then your name like ram patil lecturer in english government polytechnic thane so you can talk about it on the first slide itself so that the people or the audience should understand who the person speaking in front of them and from which organization and on the topic that the person would be talking about use maximum three color combination this is what maximum three color combination if required fourth but there has to be a proper reason why color combination because see when you are making the slides make sure that the slides are so appealing and they are so clear that the audience understands what you have written and what you have tried on the slide and that's why maximum three color combination use effective transition don't go with something funny something uh, not professional so you should go with the transition that is animation which is very very professional the audience should not get attracted to the animation or the transition that you have come up with they should get attracted to the text or the information that you want to pass so this is the underlying rule the people should not be impressed by the kind of transition that you have used but if you are using a particular kind of transition or animation there has to be a proper reason right so make sure this underlying rule you understand when you are preparing your powerpoint presentation use only one or maximum two types of slides you know there are different types of slides if you just go to the powerpoint of uh, your ms word then you will get the different formats of styles of uh, powerpoint presentation or the slides so select one or two slides it is because if you go on experimenting more styles sometimes the audience get confused sometimes the audience get attracted to the kind of style that you have selected and not the information see a major information major focus should be on information and not on the different things technical things that we are going to use while powerpoint presentation animations color combination font size <clears throat> then the style the style of text everything we should use very judiciously and very professionally font size should be of 48 to 72 see depends on the distance of the audience if there is a huge hall of maybe 100 feet or 200 feet and if you are doing it on the huge screen then make sure that you use the maximum font size of your title and the text so you should before you understand before you prepare your powerpoint presentation or the slide you should understand that how big the hall would be or the auditorium would be in which you would be presenting your information so you should understand the distance because if the text font size is little less the audience may struggle to understand what you have written on the screen and if it's too big to the size of the hall obviously it would not look good so you should understand you should understand and accordingly you should change the font size of your text minimum information in the form of words and not sentences what i have seen sometimes there are so many sentences definitions after definitions and the data is simply filled in that particular slide which is not good this is not presentation this is not reading presentation out there so make sure that you are using only the key words when you are presenting something and any relevant picture or any relevant symbol related to that key words and whatever you want to explain you have to explain it orally by just showing the 
particular slide. You are not supposed to put everything in, in the slide that is not good. Use contrasting color. See, contrasting colors means what the text color should be revealed to the audience. If darker text color and darker slide color, then obviously this combination won't go. So you should make sure black and white kind of color combination wherein the text color is revealed very clearly and very vividly and the audience understand what exactly you want to say. During making the slides, not only just pictures and all, you should have variety of slides like you can use pictures, images, graphs, charts, symbols, uh, small videos, animations, cartoon videos, anything which is relevant to the data and which will make your point very clear or you will reach the audience within no time with the help of that chart, picture, graph, maximum information you can show with the help of graph and chart, such slides you have to use. And make sure it is very, very relevant, very, very complementary to what you are going to explain or what you are explaining. That is the secret of making slides. Use short videos if necessary. There are some things, even with the help of picture, some concepts are not clear to the audience. So if you simply use a short video of maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, don't go more than one minute. Because that is your presentation. You are not there to just show them the videos. Otherwise, the people would simply go to the YouTube and uh, watch the videos. Why are you making or killing their time? So whatever video, which is of maximum one minute length, if you are using it very judiciously to make the point clear to the audience, that is absolutely good. So you have to edit. You have to just take the... It may be a, a, a longer or a larger video, but whatever portion you require, you can edit it, you can cut it and paste it over there. So you should know the skill how to cut paste that particular video and use it in that presentation so that people can understand, can relate with that. Right. On the second last slide, highlight main points that you covered. See, this is a good professional covers whatever main points he has or she has covered so far in, uh, at the end of the uh, presentation. It is because it's a kind of recap what you have done. The people will understand, okay, out of this particular presentation, these are the different points that I gained and they can recall and recap everything and regain the summary or the gist of what you presented. So the second last slide of your presentation, wherever you do the presentation should be of the summary of the main points or the main highlights of your presentation. And the last slide should have a thank you note and a request for any doubt or questions. It is. It may be the audience is your boss or it may be your colleagues or it may be your subordinates. Throughout your presentation, there might be some observation that there are some doubts. So you should be able to clarify it. And sometimes some presentations are such that they are so self-explanatory that there are no doubts. Sometimes the presentations are so boring that no audience asks the questions. So you should understand and introspect. If your presentation was boring, nobody is going to ask you a question because they want to simply leave that hall. If your presentation is really self-explanatory, they may not ask you and you can see their understanding on their faces. So it depends how good presenter you are. And sometimes some presentations are so complicated that by learning or listening to the presentation, there are so many doubts and questions raised in the minds of the audience. So again, you fail as a presenter if there are so many questions coming on your way. So this is what presentation tips are. <clears throat> the kind of questions that would be asked on based on the PowerPoint presentation, you should understand this. Tips to make effective PowerPoint presentation. Engineers should learn effective PowerPoint presentation. State the reasons why engineers should learn and advantages of knowing effective presentations. So I think all these three questions I have covered if you have liked it, mention it in the video. Use it not only for the examination purpose, but when you become a professional, use these tips. Definitely, you would be very effective and you would be recognized. I'm Ram Patil saying thank you. Goodbye. Happy learning.